signatures to try and get a question on the November ballot, asking residents if the mayor and city council's terms should end early. New Orleans is celebrating its tricentennial next year, and the group argues the mayor and council extended their terms to June 1st to be a part of it, even though our elections won't be held in November. We're putting a party in front of dealing with the, the drainage situation, dealing with the power situation, dealing with a lot of other issues. If somebody wants to put in a new police chief, they can't do that until June. Or we're going to do that right at the beginning. First day of hurricane season is when these guys are going to take office and get elected. It just doesn't make sense. The group needs 10,000 signatures in order to get their question on the ballot. And we'll continue to keep you updated on the flooding in New Orleans. Conduct a, a, a study of their flood hazard mitigation system. Um, it, it, it was in cooperation with DHS. Um, and two years after that, they had a strategic report as part of continuing that work where they admitted as a weakness deferred maintenance on the pumping infrastructure system. 2009, they admit that they have been deferring maintenance. So when this mayor says he doesn't know, that this has been a problem? I, I'm not sure. I mean, I, was he asleep? I'm not buying it. I'm not buying what he's selling. None of us should buy what he's selling. Step down before we drown, Mr. Mayor. It's one city united, and we're here with several demands, one of which being accountability. And we believe that that accountability starts with the mayor. And we think that he's mismanaged the entire city and that he needs to resign. We need Cedric Grant to resign immediately. We'd like to see a public advisory board for the Sewage and Water Board put in place to increase transparency. And frankly, we'd like to see an investigation to see where all the money has gone. Several sewerage and water board leaders were forced down after it was revealed several drainage pumps were not operational during the flooding, contrary to what the board initially said. Sewerage and water board executive director Cedric Grant is retiring later this fall. And